Welcome back to the 410 Tech. Today we got a really cool video for you guys. You ever want to get more functionality on your Apple Watch? Well, we're going to show you a way to do that in this video and we're going to get into it right after this. There's a new app called WatchTube and it allows you to watch YouTube videos right on your Apple Watch. Now you can get this uh, from the Apple App Store or right from the Watch app. You can download it and get it right on your Apple Watch. Now it uses the built-in speakers from your Apple Watch and they actually sound pretty loud and clear at, at your full volume. Now you want to also make sure that you don't have your Apple Watch in solemn mode or you won't get any sound. It took me a minute to figure that one out. Yeah. All right, so once you have it installed, you just go to your Apple Watch, find the app, click on it, and then when you first open it up, you're greeted with the home screen. Now, this is where you have, you know, your recommended videos and stuff like that, like you would with the regular YouTube app. And the app has its own algorithm to curate your home screen content based on what you watch as well. Or you could also set it to, you know, if you just want to see videos on your home screen about gaming or music, you can do that as well. So you can find videos here and start watching them right from the home screen. Uh, but you can also search content too, which again is really cool for an app on your Apple Watch. So if you just swipe over, you can get to the search screen and you can search, you know, uh, you can use the keyboard obviously. If you have a bigger screen, uh, you know, obviously that's gonna be a little bit better to use the keyboard, but you can also use dictation so you can use your voice and you can use Scribble as well. So you can just search for you know, a specific YouTuber you wanna watch or a specific content, and then you'll see the suggestions based on that search and you can just click on it from there. Once you click on, like, so for example, I typed in 401 on tech, it'll take you to our page, it'll show you how many subscribers we have, you can click on our channel, it'll even allow you to subscribe right here on the app as well. You can do that, you can see our recommended videos. And when you click on a video, you can also like the video. And when you like your video, again, that helps with the curation and stuff like that. And obviously it helps the YouTuber when you give them a like, so definitely do that. <laughs> and then there's also a option, it's like a little cogwheel for settings. And when you go on that, that gives you even more stuff you can do. So there's an information section and that allows you to see the description of the video just like you would from the regular YouTube channel. You can also turn on captions. It's a small screen, but if you need captions, they are there. And you can also even see the comment section of a video. Now you can't comment on here, but you can look at the comments if you're interested in seeing those. And there's also even an option for sharing, they give you a QR code. So if you're watching a video and you wanna share it with a friend, you can just scan the, or they can scan the QR code on their phone with the camera or the camera app, and then they can pull the video right up. So there's really a lot that you can do here. Okay, so this being a new app, uh, when we first uh, downloaded it and we're like playing around with it, it was a little buggy and uh, we're trying to select a video and then play it and then it looked like it was loading, but then it would air out. But just yesterday, there was an update I think it's version 1.1.2, and it, the app is much snappier. Much smoother. Things yeah, load much better. Things now. load a lot better, so that's a greatly improvement. And over time, like I said, it's a new app. Yeah. Over time, things are just going to get better. But just yesterday, there was a new version of the app, and things are already uh, looking up. Yeah. Uh, another th uh, thing, you can't connect your YouTube account to it, so everything you have on your YouTube account, like your playlist and... Uh, your watch later list, list and your subscriber list is not there, but the curated algorithm over time, it'll find the things that you like and yeah. you, you can subscribe on, on the, uh, the watch tube app to, you know, content creators that you like. And I also want to mention there is a discord server for watch tube and we'll have that in the description of the video. So if you have questions or, or, issues. or issues or you just want to get feedback, uh, or stuff that you might like to see the watch tube app do, do, we'll have that um, link to the Discord server down in the description. So like use cases for this, um, you can like uh, listen to a podcast, like podcast YouTube videos where it's just like a status screen and someone talking or like talking head videos. Um, you can also watch a video while doing something on your phone. And another like handy feature, speaking of handy, if you're like fixing something around the house and you're watching like a, a tutorial video on how to fix something, you can have it right there on the watch and watch 
uh, you know, how to fix something and like pause and like do the section that you need to do for fixing something. So that's pretty nice. Now the battery on the Apple Watch, you know, we'll go quickly watching videos, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, you, you're not gonna watch like hours and hours of videos, but it's still nice to be able to, like we said, for those use cases, and may, you may have other use cases for it to watch uh, videos on there. And there's also gonna be an audio only mode coming, so you know, you wanna listen to music, or again, the podcast or something like that, we don't really need to focus on the video, play that on there. And actually the volume of the, Videos was, uh, you know, pretty pr clear. Pr pretty clear. I mean, for the size of the speakers, I thought it was pretty decent. Yep. And you can definitely hear it again. So if you're doing any of those use case ideas, I don't think you're going to have an issue. So it's definitely not the best way to watch videos. You're not going to be jumping to do this, but it is really cool, especially, you know, it's just, it's just fun and it gives more functionality to the Apple Watch. And, you know, it's kind of, watching older TV shows that like Inspector Gadget yeah. and even like Knight Rider. I don't know if we ever actually had a, where you could see video, but it just, no. it takes you more into that like... Kind of mood, yes. Yeah, so definitely yeah. Penny from Inspector Gadget. Her watch could do so many things. Yeah. yeah, it was very awesome. It just kind of like brings you into that a little bit. Yeah, it's really cool. And like I said, it can be functional, especially, you know, if you're doing, I like the idea of, you know, if you're doing stuff around the house and you need to watch a tutorial on how to do stuff you have it right there on your watch so that's gonna do it for this one guys but don't forget to like and subscribe we're almost at a thousand subscribers so it's free to you it helps us out a lot if you just hit that subscribe button and it helps us to make more great videos for you guys so we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.